Tattoos on the wrists are either done by fools who don't understand the consequences, or by people who stand firmly with unwavering beliefs, ready to die for their principles. The location is complex, doesn't always heal perfectly, but it surely attracts the attention of others. Few remain indifferent. Some get irritated and annoyed. Others admire, attributing an aura of coolness and bravery. Sometimes I disagree to create such a tattoo. It depends on the client. If I see the client has barely turned 18, I'll refuse. As a father of three sons, I wouldn't want my young children, who haven't decided what they want to do in life yet, to limit their options with tattoos in such visible parts of their bodies. It's important to understand that people aren't obligated to love tattoos. Your deep love for tattoos doesn't obligate others. On the contrary, as a business owner, I sometimes visit government offices or banks where mostly gray, tired, and resigned people work, for whom tattoos represent ignorance and recklessness. On one hand, we don't care about their opinions. But on the other hand, our success, business, and well-being could depend on such a white-collar worker who feels aversion towards people with tattoos. That's why I try to talk to the client, explain my perspective, If they still want a wrist tattoo after analyzing, then it's okay. But for very young clients, there's no option. I won't do it for them. There was a situation where a client had turned 18 the day before and came for a tattoo. She got it. Two hours later, her father came and caused trouble. He said we were idiots. It's clear she's young and foolish and doesn't understand what she's doing. Legally, we did everything right, but morally, I'm not sure. In most cases, such a young person isn't mentally stable and makes mistakes that are hard to correct. Also, if a client doesn't have any tattoos yet, and the first thing they want is a wrist or neck tattoo. I never understood that. 30, 20, 10 years ago, people started tattooing parts of their bodies that are easily covered by clothes, back, chest, shoulders, legs. And only when there was no space left under clothing they covered visible body parts. At the very least, it looks silly. Someone walks on the beach. Their entire body is clean, but their arms are covered in drawings. As if they were playing in the mud. There's no point in wearing gloves when you're standing in your underwear. Or without underwear. Unless, of course, you're a boxer tattoos on wrists, neck, face. It's a challenge to the world and the system. And that's a formidable opponent. Only a fool enters a battle with a very strong opponent without winning any battles. Not even small ones. You need to be prepared. Start with something smaller. Don't think I'm against such tattoos in general. No, this is just advice. 
I genuinely wish every person to be so fearless, daring, and have such strong convictions in life that they're ready to take on anyone for them. Timid tattoos make you self-assured. Self-assurance allows you to get daring tattoos. May the power of the banana be with you.